Hamilton just a seat up on WPI who has six seats on Ithaca. So right now that uh, Wesley and Coxon just looking over at the seventh seat of the Tufts boat. So just a couple seats there, advantage for Wesleyan. Meanwhile, Tufts has about six seats on Williams here. So these familiar NESCAC foes out in front, they've all seen each other throughout the spring. And one last chance to duke it out in the petite final here at NIRC's. So Wesleyan still with that two seat advantage, pretty closely matched stroke rates here. Tufts overstruck them by just a beat or so. Um, but still just that two seat advantage. Um, although Tufts now has pushed out um, to about a seven seat advantage over Williams, Hamilton still with that uh, strong start that we saw earlier up on WPI, WPI a couple seats up on Ithaca. Looks like Wesleyan has managed to gain one more seat on Tufts here in this petite final. Um, Tufts keeping that advantage over Williams though. So we'll see here if uh, Wesleyan can continue to push out here. They did have a really tight heat here and had to sprint really hard to try to secure that spot in the grand final. So they're uh, no doubt hungry to do as well as they can here in the petite, but did really have to work for it in their heat. Wesleyan through the thousand, Tufts just behind them about five seats back. Tufts extending their advantage over Williams though here. Hamilton now, um, you know, bowed astern on WPI, WPI about three seats up on Ithaca here. So Wesleyan uh, continuing to hold an advantage in this third 500 here over Tufts, now up to about six seats, uh, but Tufts certainly not going away. And Tufts continues to hold their lead over Williams. Um, Hamilton still holding on to that fourth place in this petite final and is starting to push back into Williams a bit. Um, and Ithaca has pushed up now on WPI uh, for that sixth position. So as we prepare to hand it over, we've got Wesleyan now up to seven seats over Tufts. Tufts uh, bowed a stern on Williams. Williams bowed a stern on Hamilton. He's got a couple seats on WPI with Ithaca in six. So over to you, Linda. Varsity eight followed closely by Tufts and Williams. So those are our top three crews in this petite final, and they are vying for places seven, eight, and nine. It is Wesleyan in first with Tufts just behind them, and Tufts and Williams quite close, but Williams in third and looking across the field. We have Hamilton doing a nice job holding off Ithaca College and Ithaca ahead of WPI. Uh, looking to our leaders again, it is Wesleyan as we are into well into the final 500 meters of this petite final for the men's varsity eight. It is Wesleyan in first place with Tufts and Williams behind them and it, it Tufts has a slight lead is really pressing hard with Williams. And then it again, it is goes back to Hamilton, Ithaca and WPI. And the crews are just about to enter the final 250 meters where these buoys turn red. And we know that the winner of the petite final is, is desperately going to compare their time to the, the places in the grand final and they are not going to leave anything here on the water and Wesleyan is really going after it here. Nice smooth quick rhythm going to lift the rate here. Wesleyan is in the lead with Tufts in second place and Williams in third place. Williams is just ahead of Hamilton across the across the course here and as we get to the finish line uh, we are going to have our first crew crossing the line in this petite final for seventh place overall is Wesleyan. And here they go, followed by Tufts, followed by Williams. And then we have Hamilton in fifth place, Ithaca and WPI bringing up fourth, fifth and sixth place. 
And that is the end of the men's varsity petite final. Gary, we'll bring it back to you at the starting line.